This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, in this video, what will I do? Uh, I will teach you how to prepare the structure. Okay. Uh, the mapping structure, which will be given to the middleware. The middleware, we know, right? Yeah, whenever we do any IDOC uh, project and all, we will have one source system and one destination system. So if you are sending the data from SAP, the source system is SAP and the destination will be any any other system to whom we are sending. In between, we will have a middleware. It can be SAP PI or uh, uh, what you call, uh, in some cases, they use SOA. Okay? There are different, different middlewares in the market. So for that middleware team, we need to give the, the field mapping. Okay, what are the SAP fields you want to send or you want to receive? Okay, and what are the table and the field name and uh, the IDOC type, segment, component? Okay, at least these, these data we need to fill. Okay, here uh, we will give the, uh, the third party system details also. For example, if there is any data plant, the third party team they will call it as a maybe site. Okay material they will call as a product. So these things will be filled later by that team. So that, um, for example, here we are using SOA. So that SOA team will take this sheet and they will sit with, they will ask the third party system to fill the data. So they will fill it. Anyway, that is not our task. What is your task is, okay, now I have given one sample source list, how I made header data and item data. For a source list, I made it right. In the similar way, okay, I, I'm, I will ask you a few things like for purchase order, for uh, goods received, okay, and for invoice received. I think we need to do some four. Okay, how to fill this data? Then you can do for others. For example, here uh, I maintain the, what are the different IDOC types? We are going to use it. See, so these are the IDOC types for purchase order and for invoice receipt for goods receipt okay so those three things i will give are you sharing your screen yeah, yeah, yeah one second okay are you able to see the screen now yes 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 sir okay this is the sample source list in this sample source list, uh, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to see the, there are some fields I will explain. So when you're doing this activity, I will give that IDOC type to you. So based on IDOC type, how to fill the data, I will teach now. Okay. See, for example, for source list, the IDOC type we are going to use is SRC LST01, okay? So I can give the T codes also here, IDOC, type to display T code is WE30. That is one T code we need to use. And yes, uh, to see the structure, structure or segment, to see the segment SC11 data type you need to select. And uh, another one is we may have to check the, what you call, table field to, to see the table because here I have given right the table field data type length okay these details you may have to go to SC11 directly we can give on the table itself we can give it so these are the only three T codes which we need to use to get the data which I am expecting Okay, this is the only three T codes we need to use. Okay, how I'm filling this data, this template I will share with you. These are the fields. These important fields as a, as per your knowledge on MM and all, you can fill whatever the fields you feel that it's so important. Okay, uh, if you feel some extra fields also, you can add it, no issues. If I really don't want, I will delete it. Okay, so here the mandatory and optional, again, according to your knowledge, whatever you know, mandatory, are optional you can put it but uh, based on the requirement i can change it 
the mandatory means you know that when you create a source list plant is mandatory material is mandatory valid from to vendor number purchasing organization okay fixed source of supply that flag is not a mandatory it's an optional i think it's already gone Okay. Okay. Now we can see this. Me zero one. Okay, when we go there, see if vendor purchasing organization, these are mandatory. This fixed indicator, that MRP relevant indicator, these are optional. Okay, if you want to give, we can give it relevant to MRP. Okay, so, so. and the valid to. Okay, that's what we are filling here. So, the field name we need to fill and uh, mandatory or optional according to your knowledge you just give it or else leave it blank the table you know that when you are preparing the data for info record it is saved in a and e at purchase order ekko ekpo like that we need to fill i can give here header data and item data then the field name the data type that those things how you can see for example if you go to sc11 evo rd okay this is the source list table here you can get this uh, data type this is the data type length the length you have to come here and the field name get the field name from here okay this is the description which you can write here okay. this is clear right how you can get these data this data from sc11 and uh, this is the IDOC type. How do you get the segment and component? Take this IDOC type, okay? Go to WE30. So this is the one. To, to see IDOC type details, WE30. If you go to WE30 and give that uh, source list 01, enter source list. Go to display okay. now you have uh, multiple data here this is very small so that you can have this is the header level segment this is a segment these two are segments okay and this is the component how do you get the component details copy the segment go to s11 and go to data type give the data and go to display see here this is the component which you have to fill here so this data you will get from okay so this data you are going to get from w30 and uh, the segment and component data you are going to get from sc11 okay so the segment and data you will get from sc11 and uh, these two information and this entire information you will get in sc11 so the main filling data is these are the one. Let's see. 11. Okay. In the template. Okay. This one again, this text you can get from the S11. This data also you get from the S11 only. Okay, uh, so 
once you get the idoc type okay based on the idoc type you can get the component segment and once you know the segment go to sc11 under data type and fill the component okay and you know that that object is like a goods receipt or if the object is like a purchase order then the relevant table you also you need to fill like uh, if it is migo related header is mkpf item is msec purchase order header is ekko item is ekpo okay if you have some more details like uh, delivery and all uh, then you will have uh, other tables ekat or any other table also you might have the data so for the purchase order this is how we need to prepare the mapping data this mapping data we need to share with the interface the middleware team so the middleware team will map the details with third party system and once the mapping is completed then uh, if you don't have any other programming changes or anything we can directly use the sap standard idoc type to call the information from other system uh, to receive and make any transaction and if you want to send out then based on the message control the output type related or any specific program or any change pointers like changing material master need to trigger an idoc to third party system so these things and all will happen further so this activity is mainly to prepare the mapping file based on the uh, idoc type and tables okay i will give these things I think uh, goods received is same, invoice received is all the same. So we can hide this. This also actually we can hide. The source list is already done. I think there is only one metal master's offer thing already I have done. So I can give you the purchase order and the goods received. Inverse receipt. These three are there. Okay. These things I can segregate it. Hello. Yes, sir. Is it clear? I'm there. Yeah, yeah, what? I got it. So I will just give you a idoc type. So you need to fill like this. Okay. Uh, I okay. will give you goods received and invoice received one okay with the second person i will give what you call uh, purchase order what do you want your choice i have these four anything now. is fine no you tell your wish okay material master almost i did it actually 60 percent 70 percent is done only some mrp views and all need to add uh, purchase order and uh, goods received goods received also some of i have done i think only we need inverse receipt we need to do from start okay which one you want you select any one i'll two. take uh, receipt hmm. and uh, invoice sir okay good receipt and invoice okay i will send you these uh, idoc types you fill same format similar way okay okay hmm. clear right okay let me close yes, this sir. and i will send you that then you can work on that had your lunch yeah just now i had a breakfast sir how about you sir yeah now 3 30 right breakfast lunch are done okay mm. okay then i will send you the idoc type and this file you can prepare okay sir. it's not that much critical but yes it will give you uh how we can prepare the idoc structure okay in real time how you can work on that that will that idea you will get it hmm? Mm -hmm. okay thank you so much sir it's kind of learning for me yeah yeah, yeah. i thought like who is the uh, will be available i just messaged you okay mm -hmm. because many people will ask but uh, when we want to ask we need that should be very clear also right because i spend 30 minutes now okay what level you understood what level you do it and some people are not available at that point of time so this communication in this meantime i can prepare it <laughs> okay so it's not that much beneficial the explaining and all but anyway this point is good so somebody will be benefit we are going to save the video also now okay mm. okay okay 
okay then i will close you then we can talk on whatsapp if anything okay hmm. okay sir thank you okay bye bye